friends, this is Baljinder Singh Rathor signing in from London. Uh, the reason today we came together was uh, that uh, we are looking forward to how to cope up with this COVID-19 and how the governments of the UK and Canada had supported the businesses, why it's important to be the part of the UK or Canada, uh, how the government supports the businesses after COVID-19, and why you should be investing in UK or Canada, and why the immigrants look forward for these countries uh, as a future aspect. And joining me today in this conversation is my colleague, uh, Dr. Tarun Dheer from Canada. Yes, he looks up our Canadian operation. Welcome, Dr. Sir. Hi, thanks. Thanks, Baljinder Ji. Once again, thanks to Connect. And it's really wonderful to know, as well as in UK and Canada now, that the borders are going to open very soon. And uh, we are geared up with this uh, long vacation, what uh, we had gone through under the COVID. 19 and then we have been able to meet many people uh, from business houses and uh, other sectors through which we can now offer investors in UK and Canada to relocate and settle with families for getting their uh, citizenships in the coming months. And as well as with this uh, COVID, we have understood that the UK and Canada are the only countries who have helped their citizens as well as students in the country by helping them financially as well as the governments, both the governments have medically also given benefits to their citizens. Yes, so, uh, yeah, Dr. Sir, this is the point which I want to stress. Uh, I mean, any government or any nation is uh, known how they support uh, uh, their citizens during the hard times. And uh, of course, because today we are uh, uh, concentrating on the UK and Canada, I will take this uh, whole uh, journey in two ways. First of all, how the government supported the businesses and what are the options for investors or overseas uh, businesses uh, to come and settle in the UK or Canada. So starting from the UK side, I, just in a brief, I would like to uh, tell that, yes, the UK Government was quite determined here to bring uh, the businesses support in uh, in very good way in which they um, brought up the job retention scheme, deferring the wet self-assessment payments, uh, self-employment income support scheme, statutory sick pay relief, and apart from that, they brought up the business grant as well, a 12-month business rates holiday for all retail, hospitality, leisure, and nursery business in England was taken off. So uh, the business rates uh, from the councils, the business have not to pay. Then a grant of 10,000 pound to small businesses and 25,000 pound uh, to retail and hospitality like the was given by the government. 10,000, 25,000 a grant only to just come up. Apart mm -hmm. from that, business interruption loan, anything from 2,000 to 50,000 pounds businesses were able to get that business interruption loan. So these big uh, amounts uh, gives the business to rise back. There's again a coronavirus uh, loan scheme in which uh, the finance can be taken up to 5 million. And apart from that, uh, in the business uh, interruption loan, um, bounce backs, which we are calling it, government is paying the initial 12 months interest that means the business had not to pay anything else in the first 12 months the government will be paying and the next five years uh, the business will need to return back so and uh, i mean convertible loans from 125000 to 5 million for innovative companies so all these uh, big uh, numbers a backup, financial backup from the for the government. Apart from that, the furlough leave schemes, the employees who are not going to work, government has given these companies, whether private sector or public sector, they had given the furlough leave. That means uh, without being uh, people who are working from home or can't go to work, still a government gave 80% of uh, the salary. So these uh, were a few of uh, uh, the things apart from the, the self-employed they were given benefits uh, from the government. So looking forward 
that in such a hard time, which will be remembered for centuries, the UK government mm -hmm. stood back the businesses. And that's the reason I always invite businesses, investors around the world to invest in the UK, to set up an office in the UK, to migrate to UK because of this big support during the hard times. Yes, uh, Dr. Tarun, I would not uh, wish to know from your side what support the Canadian government gave to their citizens. Thanks, thanks. And it's really wonderful to know all these uh, benefits what UK citizens have got or the people in UK, within UK, they got all the support from the government. Simultaneously, Bajinder Ji, same as we have been discussing and I have been informing you how we have been helping our clients uh, relocated to Canada through us or have been uh, earlier staying here. But yes, same, similarly, I will benefit uh, people who have been benefited under COVID lockdown by the government. For example, uh, the Canadian government, they gave $2,000 free to everyone. Whosoever is in Canada under uh, even in the refuge visa uh, and or he's a citizen or a PR. But for example, the people who were given $40,000 that is an interest-free amount for a businessman or an entrepreneur given by the Canadian government and the person has to return this money after three years with no interest on it. So the repayment schedule is very, very lucrative and each and every businessman and entrepreneur in Canada got $40,000 immediately after the lockdown started. Then they were also given rent subsidy of 75% for three to six months. So rent subsidy, when I say, is a very uh, important role which has played for the people who are staying on rent, right? Or people who have been uh, doing businesses on rent. So they, uh, they got a very uh, lucrative offer option by the government of not paying up to 75% for next three to six months. Then all funds, are, whichever funds, for example, $2,000 or $40,000, any other fund help support by the Canadian government was in the account of each and every individual in five business working days. This is very, very important to know that this country, this government has stood shoulder to shoulder with, with their uh, citizens, with the students, with the, with the PR uh, people, and with the refugees also. So within five working days, nobody was uh, standing in queue for these benefits. It was all done by individuals on phone. Everything was so much organized. And the interest pay payments on cards and loans were deferred for six months. So this is very important to understand that most of the people who are doing business or are using credit cards, their repayments and loans was deferred for six months. This is a very big benefit. Then coming to next point, uh, if the employer is not able to pay the salary of the employees, any employee, he was given 75% salary amount of the amount of his salary was 75% was given by the government, not by the employer. So this is another very big point, right? Then they, uh, there was a decision from day one in March by Canadian government that all the tax, personal tax and corporate tax payments were deferred for next six months. Then grocery cards, for the low family income was issued for the lower income group. For all the Canadians who are under the low family group, there's a group system here. They were issued free grocery cards. So this is a very big benefit, right? Then automated applications, there was no waiting as I told you earlier. All the applications were automatically submitted from the phone and the payments, whatever uh, benefits government was issuing was in the accounts of all the individuals in five working days. Then 60% grants of the businesses, if they do not qualify for 75% wage subsidy, 
So as I told you, the employees were given 75% amount of the salary, right? But on the other hand, the benefit to the employer or the businesses, running businesses, which are shut down due to COVID, they got 60% grants. So, you know, the government has helped so much that they have helped the employers as well as the employees. They, the idea behind uh, these, these schemes, the idea behind these uh, uh, benefits, just because this, this government is caring about the people who are in the border, in the country. They want survival of the mankind. They, they do not want anybody to die on road because of the illness, because of starving, because of the non-availability of any funds. So this is very good sign. That is why uh, uh, for the last almost 10 years, I have been always promoting people, mostly the investors who want to come to Canada, they should come on a entrepreneurship or on a business base. Why? Because from day one, when you invest in the country as a businessman in any business, you are covered by the government. This is very big, big benefit. Uh, yes, Dr. Sal, that's very kind of you uh, for giving us such an elaborated uh, benefits given by the government. And uh, yeah, that's why uh, we are working as a team on both these areas, UK and Canada. Uh, now, just uh, I want to uh, take it further that what options are for businesses to come here. Of course, there is the startup and uh, innovative visa, but uh, there's an option in which uh, the companies around the world, they can open an office uh, in London or in the UK. And uh, uh, the person, the individual should be a senior employee within that company who can migrate here and open the office. It will be considered as an, uh, extended office of that international overseas office and the person who is coming here uh, I mean they must be recruited employed outside the UK by a company whose headquarters and principal place of business are outside of UK and uh, the person should have extensive related industry experience and knowledge who wants to come and migrate uh, within that company and he or she should be in a senior position within the company but uh, Again, not a major shareholder in the company. And of course, uh, uh, they, they must intend to establish company's first commercial presence in the UK, a registered branch or a wholly owned branch. So in this way, any company from overseas can come here and one of their senior employee can migrate here and settle with the family. This is one option. And on the other side, we have got that high tech visa in which the IT professionals, we are inviting them if they want to come uh, to UK uh, and settle. So uh, there's a, another possibility for them. If they've got some innovative ideas with them from the technology side, we can bring in them into the country. And of course, uh, the startups and other options are there. So briefly, I just want to, uh, you to uh, tell what uh, businesses have got the options for immigration in Canada, Dr. Sir. As I told you that uh, within this 60 days of uh, COVID, uh, this has given the, us the opportunity a lot of people from business houses, big business houses, big franchisee companies, uh, IT companies, and uh, superstores who are allowed to bring in the investments and sell off their franchises, running franchises, uh, to help the investors from all over the globe who can come over to this country in Canada on owner operator program. This program, which I have been helping people from all over the world to come here and settle and do their own businesses by investing less amount. If we compare it through the entrepreneur program or the investor, investor program, which, uh, which allows people to come and settle with the families, but under entrepreneur, there is some uh, obligations which any entrepreneur has to fulfill. Whereas in owner operator program, you just need to invest a certain amount and you can come as a partner or you can take over the businesses, uh, running businesses and take over the companies and come with the families within one year under owner operator program, which enables a person to become a citizen 
in next three years. So owner operator program is one of the best program and is the popular program in Canada today. But here we are one of the experts for this program because not anyone and everyone represent and get businesses for foreign investors under owner operator program. We have excelled in this category. Thank you, Dr. Tarun, for this uh, wonderful presentation on uh, this owner operator program for businesses who want to migrate to Canada. Yes, uh, and another uh, option for people who are in the UK, we got the investment opportunity. Anybody who want to invest anything from 40 to 70,000 pounds, we got take away franchise, uh, which is purely vegetarian and vegan options. So if you are looking to invest within the UK for take away business, do contact us. And for Canadian immigration, of course, you can contact Dr. Tarun directly or to me. We as a team will try to get best possibility ways for you to uh, migrate, settle and flourish in UK and Canada. Thank you, Dr. Sal. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. But one thing again, I want to repeat with this experience of 60 days, Globally, people have made up their mind that if anybody who wants to relocate any part of the world, today UK and Canada are the best option because these two governments are the best governments. The policies of these governments that they take care financially as well as on medical grounds to their fellow citizens. So one thing I have to be very clear, this is my personal experience as well as this is the feedback I'm getting from my existing clients and the probable clients. You won't believe it, Baljinderji. I got 100, 100 uh, calls in last one month from all over the world. People are wanting to relocate to Canada just because of the reason that they are getting the feedback from their relatives and friends in Canada that the government has been supporting them like anything from day one. As the country had supported us, now it's our time to support back the country and we as uh, immigrants or as a citizens of UK or Canada shall arise together and boost up the economy of uh, UK and Canada. Thank you, Dr. Saab, for your final words. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot.